Hi, let me uh, finally play this guitar so you can uh, hear it for yourself. Um, the first uh, part I'm going to play is a uh, um, small uh, section of the song Mad World by Tears for Fears. Uh, it's the second finger picking song I learned, not the whole song, but uh, just some parts, uh, which I uh, still remember. Um, and I think it's a great song to demonstrate the sound of this guitar to you. Uh, the, yeah, the light is off. Uh, the system is turned off right now, the transacoustic system. So you uh, can now hear the sound of this guitar all by its own. So just, just the pure acoustic sound of this Yamaha. Okay, let me start. Okay, you can be the judge. Uh, I think it's a, it's a great sounding uh, guitar. Um, but let me now turn on the acoustic uh, system, the transacoustic system. I have to press this button and with the light on the green electronic plate inside the guitar I can check if it's turned on. It's now right now turned on and I can demonstrate it to you by doing this. Uh, and it's a real fun experience because uh, it's like, hmm, is there a bathroom inside of my guitar? Where is that echo came, coming from? Uh, but you can still hear it. Um, it's now on the, uh, yeah, on the room uh, reverb, so not the biggest reverb, that's the whole reverb. But it's all almost turned on all the way uh, to uh, accentuate the reverb so you can hear it, the difference. Same part, but now with the acoustic system, transacoustic system turned on with the reverb setting. <laughs>
Okay, uh, yeah, I'm hearing it from behind the guitar. Um, so I'm also curious to hear it uh, after uh, I stop this video and to listen to the recording myself. Uh, but from my position, I can clearly hear the difference uh, with the reverb setting on. I think that according to my taste, uh, it's a little bit too much reverb, but uh, this is uh, my uh, way to introduce this setting to you. And hopefully you can then more clear hear the difference. Uh, as I told you before, there's also a chorus setting. Um, do I have a pick line here? I thought I had it here. Just a moment. <laughs> Always. No, this is the only, not the ideal one. But this is the one I can find right now. Um, let me now back off the reverb a little bit and set the chorus setting halfway uh, and like I said the chorus is mimicking the sound of a 12 string guitar this is turned all the way up this is off this is halfway I'm now going to play uh, yeah let me play just a little bit is that the name of the song by Supertramp um, and I think the original is also played with a trail string guitar so it's nice to have this chorus setting on <laughs> in a while and you can definitely hear it. chord progression uh, but yeah this is the chorus uh, let me quickly oh, I have to hold it longer turn off the acoustic system and let me play the same part then you can hear the difference still a great sounding guitar Okay, I think you can hear the difference. Um, I'm gonna um, 
take the Eastman now and play the same uh, songs. Uh, but I think my Eastman was a little bit out of tune, so I have to uh, get it into tune, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, in the meanwhile, I uh, In the meanwhile, uh, um, tuned uh, my uh, Eastman. I'm now going to play. Yeah, let me first play the finger picking part from Mad World. Uh, I have to mention that the difference in sound is not all about the wood and the, um, the size of the guitar body because this also has different strings on it. Um, my Yamaha has 11 gauge strings, 11 gauge strings on it, and this uh, has 10 gauge strings right now, so a little bit lighter. Um, both are elixir coated strings, uh, so the brand is the same, but not the gauge of the strings. Mm -hmm. 